Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Felix Bliss. Today, I'm going to walk you through how we can create church flyer with this great minister of God. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do right now is I'll go to this side and choose solid color. Then, as you can see, this is my solid color. I will choose that one. Okay, from there, Okay, I'll go to rectangle and create this shape here. Okay, so I'm going to create this rectangular shape as you can see here, like that. Okay, then I'll change the color to this color. Get it? So I'm just making some adjustment to my work here. Good. So from here, we just need to add the information to our work but before then we need to add some kind of feelings to the background okay the background needs to be very good and touchy so we need to import some background images okay so i will select this particular layer and come here and drag this image to the background so we have something like this so i'll make sure i stretch this one okay so let's stretch it to fit our work okay we have simple way of stretching it but if you are beginner at least maybe you'll be doing this okay but the fastest way is to just hold the alt key and then drag one point and it will stretch the other sides for you as well so i have this image then i will go to blend mode and change it to lighten okay I'll change it to lighten and reduce the opacity i don't want the image to pop out too much so i'll do the opacity then i'll create a mask here and go for a gradient okay i'll choose this gradient basics and i'll choose this gradient make sure that your background color is set to black then drag this one to this point like this that to get this transparency at the bottom here so i'm just dragging so that i get something like this okay that is that so i'll go in again and import the picture of the minister so this is the minister of god for our work today okay so he's an apostle great minister of christ apostolic church international the former secretary of Christ Apostolic Church International, Reverend Reverend E. O. K. Donko. Okay, so make sure you stretch the image so that the image is big enough because the image is going to speak for you. From there, you go to select subject to remove the background. So now, after selecting the subject, you can see that the gray part is not there okay let me zoom out so that you see what i'm talking about okay so use the pan tool you can press h for the pan tool to drag the image down then i'll go for the lasso tool and add selection so that the gray hair will be part of that i will select that option here then i will mask it up here so we will have this mask here you can see we have hello hello uh, around these edges i mean the edges is not quite good so i'll go to filter other minimum to remove that kind of halos there then what i'm going to do right now is i'll just do some adjustments so you can see i just previewed the before and after then i'll drag it so that the remaining yeah all the other parts will show up like this from here i'll press ok then i'll zoom out like this okay so i have something like this here so my interface i have arranged it in such a way that the work will be very simple for me okay so if you are confused that is the reason why you can see that i'm having different interface i'll create um i'll go for the brush tool and then I'll make sure the opacity is set 200 then I'll brush this side here okay going up to I need to decrease it so that it will be like the gradient type okay then I'll brush more I'll reduce it again like this okay then I'll brush here small so that we have something like this okay so 
what we are going to do next is just to reduce this kind of background small so that it makes it doesn't overtake our main image okay so that's what you can see i did i just reduced the opacity so that you will see that our main image is dominant here so i will import the logo for the church this is the logo okay i will import that logo here and drag it to the uppermost here and confirm that okay so that what i'm going to do is i'll drag this one up here and then i'll reposition my logo okay let me zoom out so that you see it well reposition it like this okay so i'll go for the quick one too and then remove the white area create a mask control i to invest it okay so that we have something like this. now from here you'll we'll go and create this kind of rectangular shape here okay then i'll change the color to white so that we have something like this here okay so from here what i'm going to do next is i'll go for test and create a test here okay i've already done that so i'll copy this whole test christ apostolic church international control c then control v to paste that okay i'll select all and then change the alignment to left alignment from here i'll change the font size to something like this okay change this one to smooth the text okay now i'll confirm that and you can see i have this kind of uh, letter b here so i just need to take that letter b off okay and i'm going to select everything all the text again then i want to bold that one okay that's why i place the b there so i'm going to bold that one so i need to change the font and choose the font group here okay so i'm just using this Benghazi bold i don't think I'm, i like this one so i'll change the font okay so let's use this font okay so that we have something like this but you see there's two different fonts here are not okay for me so what i'm going to do next is i'll go for the test again and change the font for all so that i have a matching font so christ apostolic church international okay one font then what i'm going to do next i'll create this kind of shape here okay i'll create this shape with our previous color change this color to this color okay then the round corner i'm going to create 15 round corner here okay so i'll create that okay so i'll confirm that from here then i will add some test okay so i'll add this test don't miss don't miss okay so i'll just paste that one i'll select everything again then i'll change the color and then the font so the font i'll set to 30 then i'll come here change the color okay so if you can see your properties that is what i did you go to windows and confirm that i need to increase the tracking here so i'll just increase the tracking so that we have uh spaces between each of the words i'll confirm that okay now it's time for us to rotate that one to 90 so you see that 90 we have this this is clockwise so to get anti-clockwise you just add minus to get minus clockwise here then i will drag it to this but this one is too dark for me so i just need to add some bright color like orange here so that we have something like this i hope you have enjoyed uh, our tutorial so far to this point if you are new to this channel please do well and subscribe to our channel so i'll go in and import the heading so i've copied that i'll paste that one here sorry i'll copy this select everything again paste that one new covenant i'll select everything here then i'll change the fonts here give these fonts okay and then i will set it to center I'll increase the size to something like 60 then decrease the tracking to zero okay so we have something like this then i will need to decrease the metric between the n and e so that the n 
so that the N and the U will be together. So we have something like this. I'll change the color to white and confirm that. But you can see the spacing between them is too big. So I'll decrease that. So whenever you're designing something like this, make sure the spacing is quite cool. So I'm just trying to decrease the spacing. Okay, I'll decrease it by dragging it to the left side. Just drag that one to the left corner. That. Then position this one here. So from here, I'll stretch this one so that it becomes big enough for me like this. Okay. So what can we do again? I will just go here and add some kind of blending options to it. So let's add some stars to our test. Okay, the first star is the shadow. So I'll check that, double click on that, and then I'll drag this one down some more. I'll decrease the opacity. Then I'll just make some adjustments. Then I'll get something like this, okay? Just decrease it. I'll add some inner shadow to it. Okay, or the settings of this. Okay, you can see my settings. So use the settings for that. You can add bevels, you can add stroke, but I'm not going to add that. So I think it is okay for me. I'll confirm that. Okay, so from here, what we are going to do next is to go in and import some kind of. I think I have problem. Sorry, I can't drag my work here. So we have another option to do this. If you can't drag it, just um, just go to file and go to place embedded and choose the image from this side. Okay, the light and import that one. So this is the light here. I will just decrease the size. If you want to get this light source, you can go online and search for lens flare, lights flare, or like any of them, you will get something like this. Then I'll change the blend. You see it is dark, so we need to change it to screen or lighting. So I'll choose screen. Then I'll reposition it here in such a way that the end will just look like it is standing on the lights like this. Then I will just need to do this, okay? We have something like this. I will make a couple of that, okay? By before then, I just need to work on this one first, okay? So we have something like this. Let's create a copy and drag this copy to the T so that the T also looks like it is standing on this light. So from here, I'm going to transform this particular shape so that I can add more information to my work. So I will decrease the height for that one. Then I'm going to add some kind of information. Now I'll go to test and then I will select the uppermost layer. I will click here and I will go in and add the rest of information here. So I'll go here and select Sunday service. I'll copy that and paste it here. Confirm that. Okay. Then I'll reposition it here like this. Okay. Then from here, what can we do next? I'll just stretch this one small like this. Don't stretch it enough. Otherwise, your test will not be nice. It will be some way B. So what we are going to do right now is just make a copy of the same test and I'll copy this Jeremiah 31 verse 1 with the topic and uh, the quotation. So I will paste that one and change the color to white so that we have something like this. Then I'll change the font family for this to this. Right. Okay. And then I will choose bold italic. Okay. Bold italic for that. Then I'll confirm that so that we have something like this. So what we're going to do is I'll transfer on this particular image like this okay this particular test like this okay so you should make sure that this sub sub test are not bigger the sunday service and the jeremiah are not bigger than the main subject so from here i'm going to add uh the date to it okay so i'll create this rectangular shape 
and fill it with red i'll make a copy of that okay control g okay control g then i will transform the top one then i'll change the color to white so that we have something like this okay so from here what can we do so we are going to add our test okay so i'll create another test here and then add time i'll confirm that okay then change the color to red i will drag this color to this point here okay so that we have something like this i'll stretch it small okay just doing some retouching the baby so what i'm going to do next i'll make a copy of the time and change the time to our time the time is 9 a.m gmt huh is this gonna must time uh, well. so we have something like this so i'm just going to reduce the tracking and the size so i'll do the tracking first the image becomes quite closer the tests become quite closer to each other from here what we are going to do next is to go for the test and decrease the test size to no 24 is too small so i'll set 28 and then i'll press enter to confirm that so we have something like this so new covenants on the service you might to invest it one time this so i'll create another rectangular shape here like this with white field color then i'll come here and import this date okay without the venue so i'll copy the date i'll get another test like this and paste it there so from here i'll delete this venue here i'll select everything and change the alignment to right i'll confirm that i'll drag this one to this side more okay just drag this one to this side then i'll make a copy of that then i'll transform that so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to select this okay and paste it here okay so i'll paste this test here the whole of this test and then change the size for the this one but you can see there is a space before the investor of Kiku, so i'll take away that space backspace to delete that space i'll confirm that and drag this one to this side okay so we are almost we're almost done with our church flyer so this is a very simple way you can create a church flyer so we just need to add some bonuses to it so finish it up don't close let's add the bonus to it okay so i'm just making some adjustment after that i'll teach you the bonus tips you need to know the bonus tips so i'll just increase the size so that the test doesn't look too small the heading should be something readable don't uh do it too much style. don't apply too much font you can apply some stylish font to it but it shouldn't be too much to make the work look very bad so I'm just making adjustment to my test here. Now from here, what can I do? So what I'm going to do right now here is to select the uppermost section and add some kind of vibrance to the work. Okay, I will drag this one to this size more to add some vibrance. Okay, so look at before and after. Then I'll go there again. Now add some brightness and contrast. I'll increase the contrast small and increase the brightness more like that. So that we have something like this. Okay. So this is all about creating your church flyers. This is very simple and easy. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you in my next tutorial. My name is Fedez Bliss. Bye bye.